This is another orchid. It's called Platantera bifolia. Bifolia means it has two leaves. Look here. One leaf, two leaves. Bifolia. One leaf, two leaf. It's typical orchid. Six, uh, six uh, flower, flower leaves. And uh, one, uh, one very special thing is this uh, spur. It's very long. Look at this spur. It's very long. And, uh, and uh, it, 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 is, uh, it is used for, uh, from one um, special species of butterfly with a long, um, with a long um, organ to suck this, suck this um, nectar. And if you look at the bottom of the spur, you see the nectar is moving. Look. Look how the nectar is moving here. Look. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Look and it's if you if if you take this down and you you can you can take the nectar out and if you try it it's it's very very sweet. Look here this nectar. It's very sweet. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. Uh, here we have another orchid. It's called Listera ovata because ovato means eggs because uh, the, the leaves are in a shape of an egg. Uh, it's not very 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 attractive orchid, but it is orchid. And uh, this orchid is um, very common through all the Slovenia. This is one of the four more, most common orchids in Slovenia. Uh, but I read some articles that this orchid can be used to produce some, um, some um, medicine, some drugs for the HIV. For, for the HIV, for AIDS. Um, so maybe this orchid has some potential. Uh, here we have uh, one very special, again, very special orchid. It's called Dactyloriza maculata subspecies transylvanica, or simply just Dactyloriza transylvanica. As, 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 as uh, the name tells, it's, it's called after the, the, the Romanian region Transylvania, but it should be called Dactyloriza slovenica, because the first time this orchid was put into herbarium or um, seen was in Slovenia. But the, 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 the guy, the botanist, said that it's not, nothing special and he just put it inside. Uh, and uh, maybe 20 years later, one another botanist uh, <laughs> found it in, in Transylvania and he named it after Transylvania. So it's Transylvanica, it should be Slovenica. And it's very, very, uh, in, and it is very uh, common in, in this part of Slovenia, in su southeastern part of Slovenia, uh, in Bela Krajina, almost uh, all the way, uh, almost on the other side of both sides of the river Lahinja. But uh, last week we also find a couple of species on uh, on a ski slopes in on on the Gache. So, and it, and and it grows uh, close to the to the marshes because behind of us there are marshes. And uh, the, 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 this grassland is a kind of mix. Sometimes it's, it's dry and sometimes it's not so dry. So this orchid likes mixture of everything. Here we have another orchid. It's called uh, Anacamptis pyramidalis. In English, I think it's a pyramid orchid. It's because of uh, when, when the flower is young, then it looks like a pyramid. But when it's older, it's not pyramidic any, anymore. Uh, maybe maybe mm, something special about this, uh, this flower, th this orchid. Um, well, this orchid loves heat, so it's thermophilic, and it's more common in in, um, in a Mediterranean part of Slovenia or in Croatia. But in a, in a, in a, in, a, in other parts of Slovenia, it's not so common. In Slovenia, I found it in here and maybe in Stari Trg, so it's not so common. Uh, well. Bela Krajina as a whole is, is very special because it's very uh, because uh, the, the the nature is not uh, polluted and uh, especially it's special for the for the botanists because it's not very explored when uh, when a botanist come to Bela Krajina uh, they go crazy because there is so much new things uh, new species and um, they, they are very they are very they are very um, happy to come to Bela Krajina because everything they see it's almost new and uh, that way they have a lot of things to write about. Um, so Bela Krajina it's a kind of a virgin, virgin, botanic, uh, virgin botanical uh, region.
uh, here we have another very interesting orchid. It's very small, not attractive, it's green. It's called uh, frog orchid or in um, a Latin name it has a uh, coleoglossum viride. Viride means green. Um, interesting, uh, the, the, the interesting thing about this orchid is that this orchid usually grows on a higher, higher elevations. Uh, for, in, for instance on a ski slope gacha there is a lot of this orchid and especially in the Alps. Um, and strange thing is because here it's quite low, it's 150 meters above sea level and we find it here. But it's not very very attractive but it's orchid, very small. Uh, this orchid is uh, Dactyloriza incarnata. It's, uh, it's one of the few species that grows only in a, in a very very wet wet uh, grassland. Um, as we see here close starts the, the, the marshes and it's on an, an, an edge. Uh, in in Belacrana it's quite quite common because it grows where there are marsh, marshes it's, it's, it's uh, this orchid it's growing. Uh, one characteristic of this orchid is that the leaves are unspotted. No spots on the leaves. If there would be spots on the leaves uh, then this orchid would be a uh, uh, Dactyloriza mayalis, but here in Bilakraina Dactyloriza mayalis is, is, is very very rare. I have actually I have never seen Dactyloriza mayalis in Bilakraina. Mm -hmm. It's typical Dactyloriza, typical Dactyloriza uh, with with a big these inner leaves. See these leaves, they are very big. Um, in Bilakraina we also have uh, Dactyloriza sambucina in. Uh, in a, in a ski slope gacha, then we have Dactyloriza transylvanica, uh, Dactyloriza maculata, and Dactyloriza fuxi. Um, those are very 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 common.